Hello everyone, my name is Vladimir Enchev and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create visually pages in your Blazor application, uh, bind components to some data without writing any code using the designer in Zen Blazor Studio. So we have our application scaffolded uh, from the database with all, everything needed uh, for update, delete and add records. For orders, order details and products, we added security, we localized the application, we sorted initially orders uh, to orders page by ID property descending, then we customized the application theme, and now I'm going to create a new page to list all the order details by selected order. So I'm going to create an empty one and choose the name order details by order. Press finish. Redzen Blazor Studio will create empty page to your application where you can drag drop components from our toolbox. You can select the toolbox from the left corner in Redzen Blazor Studio. And as you can see, here are listed all Zen Blazor components, all components available by default from Microsoft, your application shared folder components, and plain HTML components. I'm going to use a drop down component for this page, drag it to your page, and Use the configuration wizard to bind this component to some data. To select method, I'm going to choose get orders because this drop down will list orders for text property username and for variable property the ID of the order. It's going to be a single selection drop down, so press finish. Now, Zen Blazor Studio will generate everything needed uh, for this drop down to display orders. The drop down itself is declared in the Razor file like this, and you can check the code generated in the C -sharp class of the page that will populate orders. Let's now add a field without writing code in the page class from the data property. You can do this from field section and let's name it order ID. It's going to be integer field. Press OK. Let's bind now the value property of the drop-down component to newly created order ID field. Simply select it. And when the selection of this drop-down is changed, the order ID field value will be updated. Let's now add a data grid component to our page below the drop-down component and populate this data grid using the configuration wizard to select order details. Now Zen Blazor Studio will generate everything needed and we can customize the get order id call to use the selection of the drop down we cannot filter by order id equals to our order id now let's Use the drop down change event to 
not new event handler where we can again invoke get order details method again using the same query by order id filtered by our field order id and assign the result to order details and that's all when you select an order details in the data grid will be updated now let's run the application to check the result We're going to wait for .NET to build the project. Let's open now order details by order to check the result. When you select some order details in the data grid will be filtered. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.